Kana. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colony. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this. The convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. What are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. Saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. Strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No. I spare me. Go. Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself. ...and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land. But I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. What do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of... ...what are they? Oh, now you want to know! Captain Kidd's letters, boy! He hid a great treasure somewheres, and sent letters to four of his crewmen, along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? Ha! <laughs> you might be a cotton, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. Ah, it's good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. 
Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By guessing by God, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. when our targets get too close. Fire! She should be safe now, but it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. Gun We should get after those ships, Captain, unless we want them to come back. They veered north. Not there, but an abandoned fort. Fort! Fort! That lot cock shouldn't be there. Well, it is there, Mr. Faulkner. And it's too close to the no man. Take out their towers. That is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind saw to this. Templars. But what they intend, I do not know. Your orders? I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? This certainly comes see. Thank you. Don't I was your snorer, era awet, dinner of these such tasserane on Junzage. Kunakta Raguani did his honor, Peneganusesne. It is an acta yond again, no, no, so that the way an on done it on the soft on it. Radun Hagedu, Scanorux di Guyanderes. The god that there was the Ziata Zaha, you snorted the Wagano. The Wagamian Hara umzi waga the waste to Haja. Was a tardy got in a hot as Zodio snorted, I go deriander at me, 
नेत्रित का या ना ये डी वो का था ही दख है ओ ना या ते का ये डी नी सा चेड़ा नहीं हो नेत्रित या दंग का ये डी के का इसे को अंवाड़ी उन दस साते डेरी वा सेड़ा को से रूबेन वेर आर यू होना Thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy. She has been gathering evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. Yeah. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Mas Connor, thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing there and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages fertility. I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation given. Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Could you make a little more noise? Been fixing to trap a cougar I've seen prowling about. The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you then. Stay quiet. Look at the size of those claw marks. Better shoot true. Taste for fresh meat. Seen this before. Looks fresh. He's close. There he goes! We won't get another chance at this. Come on, Connor. We won't see him again after this. This is our only shot. Hurry up! You must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out, and the other waits out here to shoot. I will go in. Shot. Thank you, Miriam. Master Connor! Master Connor! Dad and Godfrey are fighting! You need to stop it! Right? There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. We'll kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. You're not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern.
You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is. On a river, with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried. But now that we're here and settled, I must say I'm rather happy. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. Less worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. I will be back for the rest. doesn't look as abandoned as it should. Looks occupied as can be. I will need something to draw their attention then. Once you lose sight of me, wait for ten minutes, then bombard the fort. I will slip out under cover of the shelling. Aye, aye, sir. Sounds a trifle dangerous, but I'm sure you're up to it. I doubt they let convicted pirates like old Lucky Lem out of his cell much, so if his little scroll is anywhere, it's there. circle around to avoid the courtyard. Nah, it's probably a gull or a wreck. The only intruders we get here anyway. Preposterous. And send me across the ocean to play sentry on some meaningless isle. This is my last tour for a certainty. When I see the captain, I'll look him directly in the eyes and say, Sir, I am going home. I've had enough of these nonsense assignments. Who would ever attack this fort, I ask you? Nobody. No reason to. They sent us here because the captain did something wrong. Like what? Buggered if I know. I wager he buggered something. Come off it. And keep watch. Yeah, yeah. Double time. We'll get the whip if we're late for the captain's address. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Complaining of his assignment. The fault is me. Command is punishing the captain for what have been imposed. I have had enough. We are here, and our orders, I need not remind you, to hold for all costs against the rebels at all costs. And that is all that need concern you. You are not trained to comment on strategy, nor are you aware of rebel movements. So put a stop to it. The next man I hear questioning the validity of our post will receive ten lashes and seven days in the old dungeon without rations. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check the dirt. The duties and details for the coming week. B Company will be in drill and without rum rats until they properly exit. That murder is out of 
his head. Who would do that to a man? That's why you don't let soldiers get bored. Jack and Abe deserved everything he got. We won't tolerate such behavior. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. He didn't mean anything but what he said. You're getting soft. I don't think it's right. under the eagle's bed. Hey, get him! Let's see what you got, rebel! You're late, Captain. Those occupying the fort were less than thrilled by my presence. And? And what? The damn scroll, you muckworm. Was it there? That it was, Mr. Faulkner. <laughs> 